this is Carl the Raven, aka Quickie Wumble, who did the first song, aka One Bill Yao, on AIM, aka 1102-9830 on ICQ. I've written a little song about furries. It is a rap song. I hope you like rap songs. I know I do. I will magically count to four, and the beat shall appear. One, two, three, four. Are you grooving yet? I hope so. Grooving is what this song is about. Grooving to furry information. Hello. Furries are diverse, let me say that first, and it's this one fact which confuses the worst. We don't all have costumes or collect stuffed toys, so I'm going to separate the signal from the noise. First off, what's a furry? That's an easy thing to tell. It's an animal that happens to be human as well. In technical terms, we call it anthropomorphics, but it's easy to explain without all the linguistics. If it walks like a person but meows like a cat, you've got yourself a furry, it's as simple as that. If it talks like a person and flies like a bird, then it's still a furry, even though it sounds absurd. Because even though birds have feathers and not fur, mammals are the commonest type of furry in the world, so the word comes from them. If it's starting on a fly, you'll end up with a furry no matter how hard you try. That's a furry. That's a furry. That's a furry. I will see it. That's a furry. That's a furry. That's a furry. That's a furry, you know. So, that's a furry character, but what about the rest? A furry is a person to whom furries are an interest. So both the character and the viewer are a furry. It'll all make sense soon, so don't worry. Most furries never meet face to face. We come from everywhere, all over the place. There's furries in America's and in the EU. There's furries in Asia and Australasia too. On the internet we gather from the soil of all nations, all ages and races, both genders, a range of educations. Here we are, all the furries are we, whether artists or congoers or strictly RB. So help with the furry jargon and some quick education. Happy is role playing in a made up situation and if a soda is a furry you pretend to be usually one you make up yourself for other people to see if furry lingo one word stands out and that word is youth and this is what it's all about or maybe I'll shut up and move right along cause I can't define youth in a polite sort of song and that's without touching, scritching or spooge when it comes to furry speak there's a veritable deluge but that's about the quota for the second verse done so join in the chat and have some fun furry this is furry this is furry this is furry, furry. Furry. We're not Furbies, by the way. To make a furry is easy, anyone can do it. You take your favorite animal and mix a human through it. You modify the product, is it real or cartoony? Is it two legs or four? Is it straight? Is it loony? Does it have a pair of wings sprouting out of its back? Does it have an extra set of legs that are the first leg? Can it talk or does it speak with psychic communication? Is it you? Is it not? Is it just speculation? Once you have your persona all sorted out, you can take a walk and see what we are all about. Some of us have gone and made a costume for effect, but that's a different story. First suit is on the left, and to the right we have the artist who are numerous in style. Any way you like it, they can draw it with a smile. But keep in mind that the mix is every sort of thing, and that all of it for children, which can be a bit of a sting. Experimentation is the order of the day. Imagination keeps our minds at play. Now the next verse is long, so I'm going to abort and start the chant early to keep the third one short. We're furry. We're furry. We're furry. Furry. So furry. So furry. So furry. To the downside of all this very fun Some people don't get it, not all just some Misinformation and lies are afoot It's crap up with which I shall not put AMTV, hey Vanity Fair Take a bow, you're a trash and marry Claire And a special shout out to you know what I don't care if I bitch about the trash It's a total waste of air I'm only a furry to have fun, say what you like And very propaganda can take a long hike And it's not just that we're all completely squeaky clean Only sometimes a normal world thinks it has a right to be mean And normal, you wanna be, it's not for us You can heckle us all you like from the boring part and if you need to put a weirdo down to feel bigger, then you're a sad sort of person and you're sick of the nut winger. Some furries are right, some furries are mean, some furries draw pictures which are rather obscene. Some furries believe things which are strange to me, but remember what I said about furry diversity? It's not a bad thing for the world to know us, but just the cookie stuff is not a fair part to show us. We don't like curiosity, because that's what we're about. But any future journalists, better watch out.
One extra singe doesn't do a lot of damage. We fairies have dealt with quite enough spanish. With all that said, the tide is turning. The wounds are healing and we're quickly learning that best pull forward is the way to go. Put your best pull forward and away you go. Put your best pull forward and away you go. That is if you've even got a pull, um, I don't know. I'd rather be furry and use my imagination and die a happy death instead of bitter stagnation. I'd rather express than repress and then get depressed and then get stressed about my situation. Well, I've laid it on your pretty style, the good and the bad, the fun and the games and the problems we've had. All around the world, among the people in the streets, hire a group of folks who march into a different routine. Now we aren't about to tweak you and be all heavy handed. But the furries have landed. Now there's a lot of different furries, and I have to respect that. They're straights and queers, but you might have expected that. But there's no one thing which to unite us. Aside from the critters, but that's pretty obvious. And by critters, of course, I mean the animal kingdom. Not just the furry ones, but the scaly ones with them. As well as the arthropods and dishes of birds. But mainly it's the furry ones, so they get the word. In long form, we call it anthropomorphics. It's such a lengthy word that one can use to keep the doors fixed. So it's a furry for short, you might have known. Joining the chorus while we keep the chant going. I'm furry. I'm furry, I'm furry, I'm furry, I'm furry, I'm furry, I'm furry. Now, if you listen properly, you will have realized today that I'm not a furry person from the US of A. If you need more information, I can lend you a hand. Cookie Wumble is a furry from the Great Southern Land. Now, there's furries in America and furries in the EU. There's furries in Australia and New Zealand too. There's furries all around the world and think it's safe to say it. Planet Earth is very populated all the way. On the internet, we gather from the soil of all nations. All the races, both the genders, and a range of situations. From the rich and the poor, all the furries are we. Where the artists and musicians are strictly RT. Now, to help with the furry jargon is a quick education. RT is role playing in a fake situation. Our real for a life, I see is a character. Got that good later on, it might matter. Now, of all the furry words, there is one that's out. The word is yip and I'll explain what it's all about Or maybe I won't because I'll move right along Because you can't define yip in a PG rated song But you can define scratches like a scratching only nice The furries get a lot of scratching done in their lives That's about the quota for the second verse done Back to the chant and turn up the fun I'm furry I'm furry I'm furry I'm furry I'm furry I'm furry to make it very easy, anyone can do it. You take your favorite animal and mix a human to it. You modify the product, is it real or cartoony? Is it two legs or four? Is it straight? Is it loose? Does it have a pair of wings sprouting out of its back? Does it have an extra set of legs that other furs lack? Can it talk or does it speak of psychic communication? Is it you? Is it not? Is it just speculation? Once you have your persona all sorted out, you can take a walk and see what we are all about. Some of us have gone and made a costume for effect, but that's a different story. First sitting on the left, and to the right we have the artist who are numerous in style. Any way you like it, they can draw it with a smile. But keep in mind that in the mix is every sort of thing, and not all of it for children, which can be a bit of a sting. Experimentation is the order of the day. Imagination keeps their minds at play. Now the next verse is long, so I'm going to abort and start the chant early to keep the third one short. I'm furry. I'm furry. I'm furry. I'm furry. the downside. Man, it's a big one. There's a bunch of people got the fairy nation on the run. Misrepresentations are informing the planet. The war against the fairies has to stop now, damn it. It's loaded and it's vanity fair. It's Euro trash and it's Marie Claire. Sack of beauty kicks and fatty costumes. Death molesting weirdos and orgies in every room. Look at the freaks. Come and see the parade. These creatures are only for children. This is sad and depraved. Many some people can't stand tall on their feet without attacking folks marching to a different beat. Me, I'm only here to have fun. Say what you will. You like the propaganda make the decent first kill. The very small percentage of perverts aside, most of us furries have nothing to hide. At least we wouldn't if you didn't keep the lies up. So many furries have to keep a disguise up. There's nothing going on, but we're still living in fear. Because they put the naughty possum furry on ER. It's not a bad thing for the world to know us. But all the weirdo stuff is not a fair part to show of us. We don't like curiosity, because that's what we're about. But the news crew from the BBC had better watch out. One extra burn might do a lot of damage. The furries have to deal in life with quite enough damage. The science fiction geeks are completely on our cases. And these are people walking around a lot in their spaces. The saddest of the saddest and furries right below them. One well, day we'll drain them all in spooge, and that'll show them. Tongue and cheek aside, it would be best to respect us, because a lot of people take the other attack and reject us. But honestly, I couldn't care what they think. That sort of stupid hatred makes the whole world stink. I'd rather be a cook and use my imagination, and die a happy death instead of bitter stagnation. While well, I've waited on you, furry style, the good and the bad. The fun of the games, and the problems we've had. Furries are the 
first, let me say that first. And it's this one fact which confuses the worst. We don't all have costumes or collect stuffed toys, so allow me to separate the signal from the noise. First off, what's very? That's an easy thing to tell. It's an animal that happens to be human as well. In technical terms, we call it anthropomorphics, but it's easy to explain without all the linguistics. If it walks like a person, but the arms like a cat, you've got yourself a fairy. It's as simple as that. If it talks like a person and flies like a bird, then it's still a fairy, even though it sounds absurd. Because even though birds have feathers and not fur, mammals are the commonest type of fairy in the world, so the word comes from them. Even starting on a fly, you'll end up with a fairy no matter how hard you try. That's a furry. That's a furry. That's a furry. I will see it. That's a furry. That's a furry. That's a furry. It's a furry, you know. So, that's a furry character, but what about the rest? A furry is a person to whom furries are an interest. So both the character and the viewer are a furry. It'll all make sense soon, so don't worry. Most furries never meet face to face. We come from everywhere, all over the place. There's furries in America's and in the EU. There's furries in Asia and Australasia too. On the internet we gather from the soil of all nations, all ages and races, both genders, a range of educations. Here we are, all the furries are we. Whether artists or congoers or strictly RB. To help with the furry jargon, it's some quick education. Puppy is role playing in a made up situation. If a soda is a furry, you pretend to be. Usually one you make up yourself for other people to see. In furry lingo, one word stands out, and that word is yiff, and this is what it's all about. Or maybe I'll shut up and move right along, because I can't define yiff in a polite sort of song. And that's without touching, screeching, or spooge. When it comes to furry speak, there's a veritable deluge, but that's about the quota for the second verse done. So join in the chat and have some fun. Furry. This is furry. This is furry. This is furry, furry. Furry. We're not furbies, by the way. To make a furry's easy, anyone could do it. You take your favorite animal and mix a human through it. You modify the product. Is it real or cartoony? Is it two legs or four? Is it straight? Is it loony? Does it have a pair of wings sprouting out of its back? Does it have an extra set of legs that other furs lack? Can it talk or does it speak with psychic communication? Is it you? Is it not? Is it just speculation? Once you have your fursona all sorted out, you can take a walk and see what we are all about. Some of us have gone and made a costume for effect, but that's a different story. First suit is on the left, and to the right we have the artists who are numerous in style. Anyway, you like it, they can draw it with a smile. But keep in mind that the mix is every sort of thing, and that all of it for children, which can be a bit of a sting. Experimentation is the order of the day. Imagination keeps our minds at play. Now the next verse is long, so I'm going to abort and start the chant early to keep the third one short. We're furry. We're furry. We're furry. Furry. So furry. So furry. So furry. To the downside of all this very fun Some people don't get it, not all just some Misinformation and lies are afoot It's crap up with which I shall not put AMTV, hey Vanity Fair Take a bow your address and marry Claire And a special shout out to you know what I don't care, if I bitch about the trackers It's a total waste of air I'm only a furry to have fun, say what you like And very propaganda can take a long hike And it's not just that we're all completely squeaky clean I mean sometimes a normal world thinks it has a right to be made And normal, you wanna be, it's not for us You can heckle us all you like from the boring part and if you need to put a weirdo down to feel bigger, then you're a sad sort of person and you're sick of the nut winger. Some furries are right, some furries are mean, some furries draw pictures which are rather obscene. Some furries believe things which are strange to me, but remember what I said about furry diversity? It's not a bad thing for the world to know us, but just the kooky stuff is not a fair part to show of us. We don't like curiosity, because that's what we're about. But any future journalists had better watch out. One extra singe doesn't do a lot of damage. We furries have dealt with quite enough spanish. With all that said, the tide is turning. The wounds are healing and we're quickly learning that best pull forward is the way to go. Put your best pull forward and away you go. Put your best pull forward and away you go. That is if you've even got a paw, I'm um, I don't know. I'd rather be furry and use my imagination and die a happy death instead of a bit of stagnation. I'd rather express than repress and then get depressed and then get stressed about my situation. Well I've laid it on your pretty style, the good and the bad, the fun and the games and the problems we've had. Society and I are people, they know what we're about. This is Carol on the microphone, over and out. <laughs>